politics, inflation, and fears of impending economic collapse have immobilized and reduced mankind to a shared level of anxiety and uncertainty. Nevertheless, a new race is about to be run. The stakes represent huge opportunities which are emerging and will become obvious to those who possess vision and are postured to act ahead of those who are predisposed to follow the followers. The rules of the race have changed because we now live in a changed world. It is now a world that favors those who seize the moment, dream, and act under conditions that no longer exist as they did before or during the pandemic, when fear paralyzed growth and development, when governments shut down whole economies and restricted local and international movement, and when people became socially disconnected and loved ones died alone. We who are in this race, should be encouraged to know that this changed world in which we live is waking up and demanding new ideas, new ways of doing things, new leaders, new inventions, new methods of teaching, new ways to communicate, reconnect, entertain, and new ways to experience life. The debilitating pandemic sucked the life out of so many people, but not only marked the death of one age, it ushered in the birth of another. This changed world requires practical dreamers who can and will put their dreams into action. The practical dreamers have always been, and always will be the pattern makers of civilization. We pioneers should remember that the real leaders of the world have always been men and women who harnessed and put into practical use the intangible, unseen forces of unborn opportunity. They have converted those forces, visions, and inspiration into new understandings of human behavior, nature and advanced technological marvels like skyscrapers, bridges, submarines, aircraft, spacecraft, computers, and every other form of convenience and science that makes life more pleasant, understandable and meaningful. Both tolerance for those with limited views and an open mind for the possible are practical necessities of today's dreamer. Those who are afraid of new ideas are doomed before they start, but never has there been a time more favorable to pioneers like you and I than the present simply because we have the benefit of access to vast accumulation of knowledge from the ages and a greater understanding of ourselves. True, there is no wild west to be physically conquered, but there are vast new opportunities of a different sort, spiritually and intellectually in a wanting world to be remolded, redirected, and reinvigorated along new and better lines. In planning to claim your share of the opportunities ahead, let no one influence you to be scorned or scorn the dreamer. To win the big stakes and achieve super feats of genius in this changed world, you must catch that self-same spirit of the great pioneers of old, whose dreams have given to civilization all that it has of value. Let us not forget, Columbus dreamed of an unknown world, staked his life on the existence of such a world, and discovered it. Copernicus, the great astronomer, dreamed of a multiplicity of worlds and proved that the Earth was not at the center of the universe. Nor shall we fail to remember our forefathers who dreamed and fought for a new republic to protect the God-given rights and freedoms of all men, and also those brave men and women who have given their all to ensure our future as one nation under God. Now is as good a time as any, to make a difference in this changed world. A visionary in his day, Napoleon Hill, taught that it all starts with a thought. And thoughts are real things that you have the power to bring to reality for the good of all mankind. So, let's get started. Success requires no apologies, failure permits no alibis. The original text from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill was modified for this dissertation and generation of dreamers.